Peter. You're not putting that in. You're going in an intro. No, you're not. I will put. I will, I will say your name. I didn't know it's me by the camera. But Peter, that was so funny. Hi guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my April favorites for you guys. Woo! I'm so excited. This month has been insane. I got to go from LA to Orlando, Orlando to Madrid, Madrid to Barcelona, Barcelona to New York, and then New York. And now I'm here back in LA at DragCon. So today I attended DragCon and this month I have been traveling so much thanks to Tarte, thanks to NYX, thanks to Benefit, thanks to DragCon, and it has been so, so amazing. Oh, and also Urban Decay, I got to meet Katy Perry, I got to meet Ruby Rose, I got to meet my um, followers in Spain, in Barcelona, in Madrid, in New York City, woo, so many places, and back now in LA, it has been so exciting to travel but now that i am back at home on my couch well like on my floor by my couch it feels so good to be home i got to take my dad with me to spain which was so surreal and then from spain i went straight to new york and then i felt like mama star was being left out thank you guys for those of you that follow mama star or like no mama mama star because like my mom like loves you guys she cried didn't she peter oh my gosh i'm just overwhelmed and thank you so much for all the support and the love from the bottom of my heart mama star was like crying if you guys didn't get to see the vlog that peter beautifully edited like go check that out it's my last video that i posted but um i felt like mama star was gonna feel left out like my dad coming and then peter coming to new york and i was like you know what let me fly my mom out and she like had such a blast so thank thank you guys for embracing my whole family so without further ado let's get into the favorites so before we start please excuse this pimple right here because you know when they say come through i don't mean like come through pimple like that's one of the things that we don't want to come through but it did and i just decided to be creative and draw like a little beauty mark on it for drag con today but it's still coming through get down anyways my favorite fragrance of the month is this mark jacobs decadence it looks like a freaking purse oh my gosh peter was like grabbing it for me peter like went like this okay and then went and then he, it like fell thank god i'm like close to the ground had it dropped on my cement floor in my apartment i would have like screamed but it is like my favorite scent i have been getting so many compliments number one the bottle is beautiful number two it smells amazing and i bought this in la and i decided Mmm, it smells so... Marc Jacobs Decadence. It is just literally... It smells like sweet. It smells floral. It smells like like fresh laundry, like a fresh shower all in one. If you have the chance to try it in Sephora, check it out. I always tell people, like, it's the it's the bottle that looks like the purse. And this is it. This is the one um, Marc Jacobs Decadence. I love this. So most of my favorites for the month are pretty much all my favorites that I have been using throughout my travel. I haven't been able to go shopping and buy things because when I'm traveling, especially three trips back to back in a row where I'm not able to have a pit stop and reload and dump and, you know, pump um, my luggage, these are just essentials and basics that I have had that I've noticed that I have loved when I have been doing my makeup. And I want to start off with my brushes. The brushes that I love, all of you guys know, this has been my savior. One time I could not find it. It was like in my makeup luggage somewhere. It is the Morphe G2. I mention this all the time. It is like a beauty blender on a stick. You guys can use the code PSTAR on morphebrushes.com. On anything Morphe, these brushes happen to be all Morphe. I love these so, so much. This is one that I use for blending my concealer underneath the eyes and like down the nose, um, upper lip and chin i love blending my highlight with this also for highlighting my brows i like to use the e 43 brush it is a very short angled brush i like to use this to sketch out my concealer right under my brows i love this so so much i know there's another brush by morphe that is a flat top angle brush but this one to me is a lot thinner this is from the elite collection i love this so so much it really gets really really sharp right underneath the brows i don't know if you guys can tell but i always get questions on what i use and what i use under my brows is the color 
NC20. It is the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC, and I use that with this brush, the E43. So next, for my foundation, I have been using the Dior Air Flash foundation, but since I have been traveling, I have been breaking out, which means I had to go to a fuller coverage foundation, the MAC Full Coverage. It is a very thick, a very creamy, even the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I always need something thick when my skin is breaking out because I want to cover more and look more flawless. So for any foundation that is of a thick consistency, I like to use the Morphe M439 brush. It is the best buffing brush. I am rotating it. As you guys can see, it is very girthy. It is very thick. It is very fluffy. It's something all of us girls love in a brush. And it's great because you can literally buff in without any streaks as long as you are using this motion padding so whenever i have imperfections let's say like on this side i will just pounce the product into my face of course with primer and get an amazing flawless coverage and this is the m439 by morphe and again you can use the code p star in all caps to save some money okay guys moving on to the lips these are my favorite combo ever. I have used this on every meetup, on every natural nighttime. I have been getting so many questions on my Snapchat. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, pause the video and follow me on Snapchat. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton Liquid Lipstick. This is so freaking beautiful. It is like a, how do you say, this is like a very it's great for my skin tone and darker. I like this. It's like a good natural nude. I'm wearing it today. And the liner that I love to use with it is the color Cafe Olay. It's spelled Cafe Olat. Um, Cafe Olay from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Stay On Lip Contouring Pencils. That's a long ass title, but I freaking love this. It is like a dark, it looks like mahogany a little bit, or mahogany slash chicory for MAC. It's a beautiful dark tone, and I like to use this with Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It gives like the most peachiest, sexiest, nude but you can still look done up lip ashton is like so amazing it has a little bit of a peach and i like peach because it makes me look a little bit flush it goes with my favorite blush captivating by tarte um also coralista by benefit it's a great 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 lip product and i love the rimmel pencils because they're s number one they're so cheap and they're so creamy and I like them. Okay, moving on to my favorite glitter of the moment. I have used this every night when I'm in a rush and when I want to look glam. So what better way than to add a dose of glitter? And this is Dose of Colors um, Ideal Duo. And I love this because it is a duo. And you can use this because it has it the top, which is like the eye base. And then on the bottom... It is the most beautiful champagne peach reflex. It has like reflex of purple, teal, and I always use this on the inner corner of my eye. As you can see, I'm using this as a pop of color. If you see me probably at any meetup or in person and I have glitter, most likely it is this. Um, out of all of the ideal duos, this has been my favorite. So what I like to do is just take a synthetic brush and I will just take that and pop it like let's say on my inner corner and it's like it looks like grandstand from makeup geek and it's a nice sticky base and sometimes i'll even use this to put on my lid for a base for my eyeshadow and then i will take a ton oh my god do you guys see how shiny this is it looks like one of my freaking pillows do you see do you see how oh <sighs> uh, uh. It gives like the most beautiful shine and I love it. Do you see? It's kind of reflecting. I love it so, so much and I love popping this on the inner corner. If I'm feeling fancy, I will just pack it on to my inner corner and it gives me like the most flawless finish. So next, for sealing my face, I have been loving the Mist and Fix 
um, from Makeup Forever. This is literally like this much left. Excuse my missing nail. Because, you know, when I pack, like, mind you, when I'm packing, like, I'm so rough with my hands and I always pop off a nail because I'm always like lugging my suitcases throughout the airport and also packing my clothes. So, you know, we had a casualty with this nail. But moving on, I love the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This has been my savior in Spain. It was kind of hot some days and my makeup was prone to moving. So being a big girl, being a lot of makeup wearer, I um, had to seal the deal with the Mist and Fix. This really, really seals in my makeup. Sometimes I'll miss some from my eyeshadow, but if you want to check this out, this is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And I love it because you can just spray it. And the nozzle is great because I'm really picky with my nozzles on this, but this has a very fine mist effect when you are spraying. The last thing I want is for like the nozzle to like shoot out like you're getting jizzed on and it's like the, the nastiest thing for your makeup. All right, so next, I have been loving the Alpha Clarisonic which is meant for men. This has different speeds and it will tell you um, where to go. I have the uh, Mia 2 and it's great, but I love this one because it's super tiny and it fits in my bag and it vibrates and it comes and that's not what I meant to say. It vibrates and it comes with a cap and the charger is like a base and it's super cute. But what's different about this is because uh, for those of you that have facial hair for drag queens, for my men, for my women other that have facial hair, it has a specific speed catered to your face where there is facial hair. And as you guys know, I do shave every day. If you guys don't know, I do shave every day and I want my facial area to be super clean because I do have hair growing in every day and I shave pretty much every time I wear makeup but I want to protect this area to prevent ingrown hairs to prevent bacteria from growing there and I get a full cleanse with the Alpha Clarisonic too. So moving on to my favorite cleanser and this is my last product um, for my favorites of April. I have been loving the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips and I use it with like premium cotton squares that I got from like CVS it's like 79 cents but I love this cleaner I literally have like three of these on standby because it's super gentle it feels like an oil and it breaks down everything but because I have been wearing a lot of makeup for like the past freaking two weeks straight my eyes have been so irritated but this is my go-to as you guys can see this is like my second one in the past two weeks because I have been wearing so much eye makeup and I have so much buildup, so much eyelash glue because I wear a lot. But this really takes off everything if you guys get the chance to try this. It is a little bit pricier. I want to say it's $20 for this, but it literally gets everything off and I just literally soak a cotton square or, or cotton circle and I will just wipe it off and everything will come off and it feels so fresh, so clean, and all my makeup comes off. But that's it for my favorites of April. I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing. It's been so surreal. I haven't had time to really stop and reflect, and I have been getting so many questions like, how do you feel, or how is it, or how are you? Um, number one, I'm like, I'm exhausted physically. I'm not exhausted mentally because I don't really get much sleep. Does that happen to some of you guys? Like, I, I'm a big guy and my body is mentally, um, is physically exhausted, but mentally I can go on 24 seven. I'm, I'm creative, I'm active, and I'm thinking about my family, my friends, about you guys. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for subscribing. It means so much to me. And I can't wait to see what's next. And I can't believe that I'm in Sephora again for Benefit Cosmetics for the Chicathon palette. It's so crazy. Dan Patrick back at it again in Sephora. <laughs> it's been so crazy. I just want to say I love you. I thank you. I cannot wait to hug you and squeeze you. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos on my channel. If you guys want to see more, give this video a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!